Hi, this is Prios and I'm a professional gambler. Today we look into another video brought to us by BCP Poker Replays. Thanks and shout out to him um, in my YouTube video. I will also link this one below. And yeah, the title of this video is very promising. We might see the most crazy PLO action we ever saw. So let's jump into it. Okay, we did not have the preflop action from this one, but yeah, looks okay-ish. Nuts was a second nuts, and we also know Rahul from many videos before. He's not now in for folding, especially not with the second nuts. Yeah, okay. Three word pot. It set hold cards up, so why are no hold cards in this one? Yeah, if, if there are more hands with no hold cards, we have to... Um, forward a bit through these hands because we just want to see hands with full cards. Okay, this was a bit too far. Oh, that's, that's crazy. It's straddling from the button to 4k. Okay, the kings open race. He decides to defend after straddling. I mean, this hand is very bad. He, could have just let it let go. I mean, two people, two more people behind him. Yeah, easy fold. Yeah, on the flop, not a decision for any of these guys anymore. Kings have the overpair and the gut shot and the backdoor flush draw, and there's not that much left. And yeah, Rahul also flopped great. I mean, not great, but quite good. If you look into the shitty hand he has, so yeah, no decision for any of these guys. And we don't run it twice. And Rahul wins the pot. We also got promised a 1k, 2k action. This is not 1k, 2k yet, but maybe they will add this straddle later. The action also is quite fast, so this is also like three times the original speed or something, I guess. This is a very uh, scary turn and yeah, Trutella also folds. Too many cards with no hold cards. Okay, now we got hold cards again. Raise and a call. Looks standard so far. The ace, 10, 9, 8 could have three bet as well. But yeah, he probably tried to get Rahul in the pot as well, who is the mark of the table. So calling is fine. Yeah. Andras missed completely, so expect him to check. I mean, not completely, but he just has a back of flush draw, a weak one, and a gut shot. Not enough to step in my eyes. And yeah, True Teller will probably check back the flop. He does not want to get re uh, raised on the flop. He has some equity, but his hand is not very strong. So I expect this to go check check very often. And they proved me wrong. Yeah, for the small small bet, Brutella obviously cannot pull two backdoor flush draws, a pair, and an open end, uh, not an open end, a gut shot. So yeah, he has to peel one off. Turn now, he probably can pick it up by betting, but he probably will check. I guess. Can we please do straddles? Oh, looks like the straddles will be on very soon. <laughs> My future would be bright if I didn't gamble all. <laughs> Funny one. No gamble, no future. Okay, we will again have a pot with no whole cast, but these go quite fast, so... I also expect this video to take some time to review if they speed up all these hands. Okay. Because yeah, I want to do detailed analysis. So yeah, this again was one with no whole card. So let's forward a bit. Okay, this has whole card. So let's try to catch the beginning of the hand. Now the straddle is on. Button makes the standard open. Oh. I, I wouldn't hate a 3 bet from Nemeth here, but yeah, it's probably the same idea behind 
not free betting when last time when True Teller didn't three bet. People want to keep Rahul into the pot. And yeah, Nemeth crushes the bot fucking insanely hard. He has nuts with multiple redraws. And Gay Contautas also has something. He has two pair and also the straight, but yeah, the weaker one. So let's see how this will develop. I mean, I don't hate the check back. It's also okay to bet. I mean, once you got back up with your second nut straight, it's okay to bet sometimes. But yeah, checking back, especially on a very drawy board like this, I don't hate at all. I mean, you just have boards to improve if you are behind against the nuts, so can't blame him. Yeah, he obviously, after checking back, has to call the turn. He also improved to his... He didn't improve. I mean, no, um, even more straights possible. So, yeah, but he has to call. His hand is just too good and he has redraws. And his opponent might be betting the same hand. So, yeah, all fine until this point. And, yeah, I wonder what happens on the river. I expect this to go check, check quite often. Yeah, no, no reason to bet for any of these guys. And yeah, remember, you can all only watch this uh, content live if you follow me on Twitch as well and tune in once I stream. I also always, before streaming, um, let people know via Twitter. So follow me there as well if you don't want to miss any live streams. You can also ask questions and stuff. So this is be a lot more interactive than just watching the YouTube content later. And we see a bet on the call and a call on the river. Yeah, James made a straight and not much much action until this point. So he has no reason not to believe that his hand is good. So he makes a value bet. And yeah, the trips, which played it quite tricky so far, um, yeah, made, make the acquiring call on the river. Okay, greens, I mean, could fold these greens. I actually like it more if he would have folded because Rahul is very active. His hand is quite bad. I mean, if you come from a no limit holding background, you always think queens, kings are great hands, but this actually is not true for PLO. Every big pair isn't too great if it's not aces. And yeah, these queens are yeah, I mean, they are not too bad. They are, they have connectedness and also one suit, but yeah, I wouldn't have opened it for just 50 BB or a bit more effective and many guys behind and you don't do well if you get three bad ever. I mean, this this squeeze is, is, is insanely bad. Can't even put it in words. You should never do this with a hand like this. And yeah, Andres might have trapped the... I also wonder why we have no hole cuts for him, but he might have trapped with very weak aces or something or, or kings that he did not want to get in in the first place. But now he thinks against the wide range from Rahul, he can get in. I, I wonder what he's, he, if he gets, still gets out of the pot. Okay, the queens now does not look too good. I mean, it's just backdoor, backdoor stuff. And that's even only a backdoor straight draws and even not even good ones. Only the eight gives him the open ender and also makes better straights possible already. So yeah, quite sick when if Andres still folds. Yeah, and now Rahul probably goes all in because yeah, the other guys have almost nothing behind. He has a backdoor flush draw. He has a he has a pair, but yeah, hate it. He could have avoided this spot right away by playing it differently preflop and yeah and as i said andras um played the aces slow he did not want to build a huge pot yet maybe he also knew about the tendency of rahul that he's three betting very light and thought that this is a good spot to induce a squeeze and then come back over the top and this plan worked out perfectly and yeah he even on the flop although this one looks quite scary he's 
a good favorite against two guys. And yeah, Raul actually has quite quite good equities and the queens are completely fucked. That's what I was talking about when I said don't open it. Yeah, and the aces win. And this is a new animation of Daniel, I think. So improve the store software. Oh, baby, these are even two straddles now. Oof! Whoa! Didn't saw that coming. Third straddle as well. Um, that's not a GTO open, and yeah, now they. Oh, he had straddled as well. So. Yeah, but still, this is. This this is they are just in, doing insane gambles, by getting in like almost all money preflop, and now they feel committed with some weak hands. So 180k are going in with literally almost nothing. I will tilt it after losing this pot as a favorite. Mm, what do I think about this limp? I mean, it's fine. I guess he does not want to face a 3-bet ever, so he decides to limp call. And I guess it's okay-ish. Yeah, True Teller has a very good hand. I would have raised in his spot as well. He also has position. And yeah, you also can expect your opponent to be not very strong after limping from... I mean, it's actually the big blind with Voiva is limping into the straddle, but yeah. Good okay-ish play by, by both guys. Yeah, um, yeah, I like the check back, and yeah, that's that's a very good turn for True Teller. He will definitely not fold. Uh, I don't see him ra him, uh, him raising either, so I guess we will see a call and then play river. That's quite sick. I guess they are probably checking it down, and yeah, the weak two pairs will take it. Yep. You can see the future and keep in mind I did not watch this content beforehand. It's just me doing the analysis. Oh, that's a big part. But no pull cards for this one? I mean, I will get it in most of the time. Yeah, we do. So a, a little better editing would have been nice. Oh, that's insane. So he gets it in with nothing basically, but still has 23% because yeah, Raul also is having a quite weak hand. I mean, you could even debate checking back the flop. I mean, you have nothing and if you get it in, you are sometimes in insanely bad shape. I mean, you could be even in worse shape than this one. I mean, even if your opponent has just like ace-jack, you are in a lot of trouble, so... Yeah, checking back the flop would have been fine. I mean, he I guess he thought that Rahul is that loose and that he might have enough fold equity still to get it in. And yeah, often at least one of his overcards or even two are good. So yeah, I mean, this is definitely close to his decision on the flop if he should shove. If you also include the, the fold equity he has. Yeah, and James is not getting there. I would also have slightly preferred a check back. I do two straddles again. Yeah, we're straddling again on the button. And Andras just completing the straddle and then calling the race from Rahul. Uh, this does not look like... Wow. I, I guess we are... Someone still fools because we have no hole cards. I also don't see the point in the lead later. I think checking... I mean, we probably wouldn't have gotten any more money anyways. Rahul probably had nothing at all, but... 
Yeah, I don't know what I think about the lead. Don't think it's too too good. Okay, raising a call. Yeah, these um, weak rundowns that are not even double suited are not an open. But you can flop good hands with it. Two pair, gut shot, backdoor flush draw. After that much money got in, we probably will see an all-in. The queens probably also assume that they are now committed. And yeah, it's, it's, it's the right way to play the hand this way. And not running it twice. And Rahul has the lead on the flop. And yeah, he can dodge bullets on, uh, on turn and river and win the entire thing. Mm. I don't know. This open already is a bit loose. But yeah, I say it's it's, it's a bit loose, but yeah, n not not terrible or anything. Um, this free bet also is loose, but I say it's still okay. And we obviously see a call as people not often are folding against three bets. And what is True Teller doing now? I think he might try to trap him. Although, actually, he is the one getting trapped. He has no pair and he has a weaker flush draw. I, uh, but I, I actually like his play very much because, yeah, as preflop aggressor, you're not supposed to hit this very hard. And, yeah, that's quite a good uh, play from a balancing point of view. Now I expect him to check race all in. And he will get the bad news. No, oh, actually, it's not that bad. And they run it three times. And two thirds go to Andres. Oh, that's also a hand that's not qualified to 3-bet. The preflop open is fine. Um, yeah, now he might be in trouble. I mean, the continuation bet is fine. He has a pair. Andros probably also is not raising here. Yeah, I mean, raises would be insanely risky and also not establishing much. He has to call no other play here. Um, that he is continuing is, yeah, I, th I think that's also very, very ambitious. Yeah, Andres obviously has to call again. Still top pair, top kicker, and now also picked up the second nut flush draw. Yeah, let's see if he is trying to bluff this one. Um, uh, what do I think? I think it's actually okay. He's blocking the straight and also has a small blocker to the hearts. Um, yeah, I guess this targets the ace-king type hands and also is targeting maybe weak two pairs and stuff that might still fold. So yeah, I, I don't hate it, but I personally would have given up on the turn already. I'm not even sure if I bet the flop. I mean, checking the flop would also be not the worst idea. Yeah, Daniel dances and throws money. Like he did on to Doc Polk after as we and when they did the the challenge. Okay, well, the first um, squeeze that is actually qualified and yeah, easy get it in now. I mean, the Ace King also has no way can that it can fold, but he's effectively having like almost no money. I mean, this is like thirty BBs or something very small. And yeah, this guy showed the tendency to be insanely, doing insanely risky stuff. Okay, Rahul again in, in a big pot. 
with a hand. I mean, once the sweat not much money yet got in, what would I do in his shoes? I would not race. I mean, you are crushed against a lot of stuff. And your opponent most of the time will not fold, but on some scare cards you might be able to take it away from hands like aces and stuff, so I would call and see a turn. But I guess he probably is more the gambling type and just jams it in. No, he calls. Oh, wow, that's surprising actually. What what do I think about this? I mean he's I guess he's trying to give him sort of a good price on every street. Uh, or induce something by betting small. I guess I personally would have chosen a size a little bit bigger so that he's getting a better price on the river too if I decide to bet turn. So I don't hate it. And yeah, I think him calling turn is very ambitious and very close. Uh, although he got get a really got a really good price, he can be drawing that very easily, so don't like it too much. And yeah, how often is his opponent having a bluff, a especially against him? So yeah, wouldn't have hated if he just fooled it. And oh, now he's tricky trappy. I I don't like it at all. I would shove myself. And Rahul now will check back because he's not turning two pair into a bluff, I guess. Yeah, so he, he missed a lot of potential value there. I mean, I, I bet the river 100%. Good open, uh, bad defend. Good check back. Yeah, okay. I I called back cor completely correct. Uh, yeah, this is definitely a good check back. He can be behind. He has a good hand to keep the pot small. And yeah, get his opponent to bluff. Um, let's see if Rahul bites. No, he doesn't bite. I would check back again. No reason to blow this pot. Um, this is now quite tricky. I guess after you showed so much weakness you can call the river i mean you are blocking the straight you also have a blocker to diamonds rahul might be tilted he lost a lot already he tried to bluff a lot of spots and if he had a big diamond wouldn't he bet the turn or even donk the flop i mean i think looking at him up is very reasonable. I mean, if it, if he has small diamonds, he might not even bet the river, and especially not for such a big size. And yeah, big diamonds might bet earlier, and he's also not betting to pair now. So yeah, it's a good bluff catcher. He calls. He extracted the maximum value from a hand that was way, way, way behind and had almost no uh, ability to catch up. The mighty 4k straddle seems like he's always straddling when he has a button. Mm, seems like we have no hold cards in this one. But yeah, let's... Oh, maybe we get two hold cards. If we get it in now, I mean, we will get it in very often, given the pot to stack ratio. But yeah, Raul might have had trash again. What happened here? What? I guess this was an editing error. Okay, Jacks. Uh, yeah, I like where the Jacks slow play. I mean, he can easily get it in on a later street, and his opponent has almost no ability to catch up. Yeah, and if he's bluffing, you want to let him bluff. But here, also, again, no reason to raise, just call. Wow, Rahul does. A lot of crazy bluffs. I mean, he's not even having great blockers or anything, and even his 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 flush blocker is not even doing that much on a paired board. So he is definitely on some sort of tilt or on drugs or stuff. I mean, he's playing a lot more aggressive than the sessions I saw him uh, play before. Let's see. Okay, he's in again. Again, three betting. I mean, his three bet 
stat has to be insanely high. Getting called. Yeah, continuation. I mean, that's a, that's a board uh, that you should continuation with very often as preflop aggressor. And oh, was he bluffing again? Will he pull the river? I think you also choose a very bad sizing, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, this is definitely a game you want to be in. Yeah, good, uh, good race. I guess the kings now try to jump it in. Yeah, he has to call. No reason for getting it in. Ooh, that's a tough one, actually. Okay, the kings check back. Yeah, I mean, he was bluffing all the time before. I mean, well, it, it makes sense, I say. So he's probably now, um, Rahul probably ch tries to check it down. And yeah, no no reason for unrest to, to bet. His opponent can re very easily have something. And now it's just, just getting checked down. And yeah, the kings win it. Yeah, reasonably played by both. Oh, that's a beautiful hand. And Rahul, for like the first time, finds a fold. Yeah, also good good defense. Um, yeah, that's an okay lead. Having the indirect blocker. I mean, you block the 7 a bit by having two nines, And you also have future blockers if a 6 or 7 comes. You also can improve to a straight draw or a flush draw and keep bluffing. So, yeah, find that. Yeah, uh, you cannot fold yet getting such a good price if you are a true teller. So he has to call. On the turn he has to call again. As the sand now improved and has some outs against the straight even yet. Mm, should he be betting is the question. I say he should not be betting. You you like to get the free card here. Well, that's not a river you like to see with queens. Mm, I wonder if Andras might now turn his hand into a bluff. It would, yeah, I, I wouldn't hate it. I also wouldn't hate it if he would have bet the turn and also bet river. Does he has to bet now? I mean, he has to find bluffs in every situation. And this seems to be a hand that definitely makes sense to bluff with. So, yeah. He's bluffing. Full pot. Oh, that's very, very interesting and loose call by by True Teller. Yeah. That's a loose call. I probably would have pulled it. I mean, every six with a connected card has a straight now. And it's also not that easy to find many bluffs in your opponent's range. And people will also probably play more honest in a game with Rahul and not try to get every little uh, bit of edge. So, yeah, I personally would have pulled it. But yeah, this might even be a good call. I, I mean, Trutalize is, is a huge station, so don't expect him to fold anything decent ever. This would be a spot to just call. I wouldn't three bet. His hand is terrible. It, it also plays terrible, especially against multiple opponents. And Rahul might go crazy again, so just call. Every other place is terrible. Hey, he calls. Well done. I love it. Yeah, no, he's. I, I probably would have, would be done with the hand now. Against so many opponents, it's quite likely someone has a jack. And now I would check again. Full to any action. And yeah, James trying to do, induce action. I mean, he has this board crushed so hard. Oh, that's a very unfortunate card. Now the aces can easily feel ahead. I mean, a jack should have bet at some point. Yeah, and he can extract value from, a, from many uh, pocket pairs. So yes, this looks like... True teller will lose some money in this spot. He's also betting very small, so. What? He just called? With quads? Why not raise? 
Did I miss something? Let's see. He's just actually calling. What the fuck? I mean, what was he thinking? I mean, what? Maybe I also sometimes lose my ability to read the board and or misclick or something, but this makes no sense. Oh, now he's straddling from the cutoff as well. Mm, don't like the race. He said it's trash. I guess he might spew some money to his opponent again. Yeah, looks like it. Um, this is a tough one. Andres could now race. And he will be in good of good shape against everything his opponent might get in. I mean, he's probably a favorite against potential straight. I wouldn't hate if he raises. I would also wouldn't hate if he just slow plays and calls. Yeah, folding obviously is not an option. Yeah, he raises. And he gets called by a hand that should have folded. That's not the greatest card for him. Um, but I guess he can still not fold. I mean, his opponent is clearly on tilt. He's clearly playing way to lose. He can be ahead against stuff. He can even be ahead like against something like 7-8 or something. So what should he do? This is a tough one because the higher reps got in. He also, I mean, can he expect his opponent to call as wide as he did? I mean, I I wouldn't hate if he just jams it in. I also don't hate if he checks. All fine. I mean, I prefer checking it slightly, I would say. And he checks. And it's check, check. And yeah, the river is very terrible for him. And Rahul, what has a Rahul now? Still nothing, right? A six. That's it. So, but I guess he might not be bluffing. So it's probably a check, check. No, Rahul actually is bluffing. And yeah, for this sizing and yeah, how he played the session, I would not fold. I mean, it also does not make sense. He's not representing anything decent. I mean, he checked back the turn, so he is not having a straight. He, um, yeah, I mean, is he supposed to check back with 5 6? Uh, 4 5? Uh, no, what? what is a straight on the flop? Uh, 6 5. Now it's correct. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you, you're right. What what Chad says is, is right. It's it's a better bluff if you don't have the flush blockers. But yeah, he's he's bluff, bluff it, blocking draws, so that's not a good bluff. And also he's not representing much. I mean, on the turn he's checking back. Is he now supposed to bet as a set on the river? I don't think so. Is he now supposed to bet two pair? Also, I don't think so. Is he now supposed to bet five six all of a sudden? No, I don't think so either. He might uh, bet something like 10 9, 8 9, 7 9, something like that. But yeah, I mean, it's it's reasonable to look him up with two pairs. So yeah, I like it. As he's not rapping that much. And yeah, he's getting called. But also, a, a tough uh, call to make in game when you not see all whole cards like we do. But yeah, I like I like the call. So two straddles in, a raise and a call, and we might see an all-in-all again. The pot to stack ratio is very uh, shallow again, only about pot size left. Oh no, seems like this time yeah, who is allowed to take it down. Hi guys. Yeah. Hmm. The open race is, is, is to lose, for sure. The three bet is to lose as well. Yeah, I like the... Ah, it's, it's a Rahul again, so yeah. Uh, yeah, I like if he's 
And should he check back the flop? He definitely can. Could also bet. But I think I like I like a check way more. He wants to keep the pot small and get Rahul to bluff again. I mean, Rahul's range is so wide. Yeah, against the small bet size, no way I'm folding. Oh, the river is quite scary. I wonder if Rahul will continue to bluff. No, he's not. I mean... This time the bluff could very well have had worked out because yeah, now everything came in. Straight came in, back the flush came in. The two pairs of Shriner are counterfeit, but yeah, no balls. And yeah, I guess it's check check now and Rahul loses another not that big pot. Um, if you look into the stakes, this is just a few big blinds. Another button straddle. Mm, wow, this is... I think he should just complete. This is not an open from UTG with all these guys behind. This is a bit crappy hand. I would just complete. But yeah, okay, he raised. All good. Um, uh, check, check calling the flop is a, is a decent option. Betting small, fine too. I probably would have checked. Uh, now I would definitely check. What is the 10 doing? The 10's bet very small, so yeah, no way you're getting out. You got to call. And now you have a very good hand. But you... This is sort of interesting. I mean, should you bet out now? Trying to get value from other flushes that came in? Should you bet out trying to get a crying call from trips? Or should you continue to check. Um, I mean, you are not folding, that's for sure. But do you get more money by checking or by betting? Hmm, good. Very good question. Very good. I personally would don't go in because uh, all these um, medium good hands, I see Rahul checking back. So if we check, we must assume that his opponent has a lot of bluffs, that he's also continuing on the river. So uh, my line would be to donk all in. But he disagrees and is going for the check call. Yeah, it depends on your opponent's tendencies, what you should do. My personal line, personal line would have been, as already mentioned, to donk. Oh, looks like two good hands go after each other. Yeah, definitely poor betting. This is like the absolute nuts against a guy who has a three percentage of, if I had to guess, like 30% at least. Yeah, True Teller thinks the same. Yeah, that's unfortunate that the bot, bot comes, that it comes paired and that you have basically not a good hand anymore but you put in so much money you have still have full equity you can still be ahead yeah which is not this time but yeah no way to get out with the kings so just bet and get it in yeah unlucky not running it twice and what's the river the river is a heart and it is a 10 yeah full hours for a week Nice scent. Okay, nice open. I mean, yeah. Okay, he's. Well, this is actually a hand that is qualified. And yeah, checking the flop is fine. I guess now you check turn two. Yeah, no, no reason to build the pot with the sevens. And now it's check check again. Yeah. Well played by both. I mean, you don't even have to three bet this always, but yeah, as he's playing, this is basically a monster. Ah, okay, here. Thanks for letting me know. Check. Hmm. Ah, 
let's now this should be fine right and i unfortunately missed the action as i was down sizing myself so it's like race and re-race and we both got got decent hands uh, i don't necessarily like what he's betting the turn Although, I mean, it's close if you should bet here. It wouldn't hate if you to, to check again. I mean, this is a hand you're trying to get to showdown. You don't necessarily want to get more money in. I mean, this is, he gets lucky, but he is against like one of the few hands which he actually beats. But yeah, this hand again has a ton of equity still. I guess Rahul now will call. We see a river. And now it's going check check. Rahul again not turning his hand to a bluff. I also think that he does not has to. He could be ahead, not often, but yeah. Who is Omaha for rolls? Uh, the Muslim Reshetov or who? I don't know. It might be. Seems like you are better informed like I am. <laughs> okay, bed open. And he's getting punished. Uh, not anymore. Yeah, I mean, you have to get it in. You, you have nothing, but yeah, you still have a small amount of full equity and you can even do okay-ish against hands that he's going in with. Yeah, 33% is enough if you only have to get in half pot. And yeah, ace-king no good. So that's a very nice hand. I would like it to be suited to the ace and the king, but yeah, you cannot have everything in life. Yeah, good continuation bet. The 10 slow play. Uh, given how he, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's fine. Yeah, now checking again, also fine. The ace, king, jack definitely should make another bet. Ugh, don't know what to think about this race. Calling is definitely an option too. I mean, you force out all bluffs, but your opponent will also not bluff you very often on any river. And you will get action from all aces, so yeah, it's it's fine. Not running it twice. And Maxim gets there. Okay, straddle and a call. And a good old cutoff straddle. And we see a three bit as well. True to hand was not strong enough to take that much heat. Get out of the way, and we also have no shoulder on this end. Seems like we get no shoulder on this one too, but these hands are quite quick, so let's just go through it. Okay, that's a four bet, right? Or is it a three bet? No, I think it's a four bet. Yeah, Rahul is qualified, or at least feels qualified, and yeah, James is not, so he takes it down pre flop. Uh, okay-ish race, although it's also not the great hand. Yeah, okay, nuts. Nuts, nuts are always nice. Yeah, I like the flop bet. I like the turn bet. He also picked up the flush for, as well. And yeah, Shrine, I cannot get out of, out of the way with a straight and a full house redraw. So he's he's calling or raising. Let's see what he does. Ooh. Um. Hmm. 
sick one. I mean, this is actually close by, between checking and uh, between calling and raising. I mean, you pro your opponent probably never pulls any kind of draw or two pair and flush draw and stuff. So you are even ahead against some things of his calling range, but it's also quite easy for him to have ace queen. He could also be bluffing with aces or queens. And you force out this hands by doing so. And you pro you might get another bet from this on the river. So this is definitely close. I don't mind either I don't mind either raising or calling. Pulling is not an option. And yeah. Shriner gets lucky. Making the full house on the river. Taking it down. Very sick game. First time I see a million dollar stack on PLO. Mm, yeah, I like the race. What? Are these the actual whole cards of these guys? Then the free bird is terrible. Really? I mean, you could even debate folding the 9, 7, 7, 10. I mean, okay, I mean, yeah, probably not. I mean, you have too many backdoors. Almost always a 9 or a 7 is good and two backdoors as well. So, yeah, we can, you cannot fold anymore, I think, on the floor. But it's 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 close. And yeah, this, this hand is, is just a joke. I mean, is true teller retarded why is he three betting in the first place and not just folding is he tilted because he's out of position on and raul has position on him and that he didn't want anything yet i mean that's that's terrible and he even wins uh two thirds of the pot maybe i need to get into the game i don't want to <laughs> i mean the, the the swings are just insane if you play like a 1k uh, what is it actually it's like 500 1k 2k 4k if you also look into the straddles yeah poker is it's at least not that if you are able to get into these games it's also like the rake i mean gg poker is printing they basically make 1k from every of these pots so if they play like 200 hands a session, they, they make 200k from this table alone. Yeah, no, good question how uh, the straddle Im impact the solved solution. I have no idea, to be honest. I'm Definitely there are no um, solutions out there in the market. Yeah, you could run your sim, the sim yourself, but yeah, that's, that's it. Okay, we see an all in, but no whole cards. It definitely was a very insane session. Okay, I expect a three bet, and most likely a four bet. Yes, he's just calling. I mean, that's what should you do? Should you call or just get it in? I have no idea. I mean, against this guy, he can have all sort of stuff. So yeah, definitely not folding. I mean. It's, it's okay either way. And yeah, once you plop top pair, no way you can get out. And it's, I think it's pre flop, almost a flip, and it's also almost a flip on the flop. Yeah, or who gets lucky this time? Takes it down. And the seven seals the deal on the turn. Okay, this also is, I mean, okay, once 
Let much money got in, but yeah, double the knights also only a pot size battle left. So yeah, he has a gut shot, he has top pair. It's okay, but don't get involved preflop, I guess. Okay, it's, I mean, the kings actually should not three, but these are kings are too weak. But yeah, the way this guy plays, he's obviously not doing anything else. Yeah, now it's a call on the flop from Andres. Oh, I see trouble for Rahul. Ahead, yeah, no, just ship it in and win it. This is very lucky. I mean, Raul also had the flush draw on the flop, so you had to touch the spade to, and yeah, no, we will get it in. Wow, look at this. Raul still has a lot of equity because, yeah, he can counter fire his opponent, he can make a flush. Can hit the king, so let's see what happens. And it's a jack. The jack is no good. Yeah, good game. So this will break very soon. After Rahul left, okay, looks like it's the great game is breaking instantaneous. I thought they have a no bum hunting. Uh, what is it called? No bum hunting rule. I mean, all these guys. Could have taken their money away because of this. I mean, <laughs> there's not even they are not even deceiving it by playing like one more orbit or something. They're just hunting Rahul, and once he is gone, the game instantaneous breaks. Yeah. Anyways, nice stack of 1.4 million, and yeah, this was a fun session to uh, review. I hope you enjoyed it too. Yeah, if you didn't uh, check out my other channels yet, please also please do so. Uh, yeah, on YouTube I have got a lot of content. I also usually upload what I streamed. Yeah, thanks for watching. Good luck at the tables. Bye bye.